Ponyfans.com here with quarterback Kyle Padrone. And Kyle, after 20 years of SMU and Pony fans waiting for a bowl game, you've been here two years going to your second bowl. What does that mean to you? How much do you sit back and think about that? Um, when I was first getting recruited, it was something that Coach Jones and Coach Morrison really, uh, they believed in, they believed we could get there. And uh, it's fun to be a part of. It's a great experience for all the guys. Uh, uh, myself included, and uh, being the quarterback of this team, it's it's uh, been a lot of fun, been a good ride, and uh, we got to finish strong against Army. Is that something you and the other sophomores sit around and talk about? Our class is the one that got it started, or yeah, at least we're two for two so far? Uh, it, we're, we're not the ones that got it started. It started uh, way back when uh, with the first guys that started the program back uh, from the death penalty, and uh, just rebuilding this program back to what it was, and uh, fortunately, uh, we're the ones that got back to the bowl game, and uh, we get all the glory for it, but uh, those guys that came before us, we stand on their shoulders, and uh, I mean, they're all part of this too. Last year, basically since the day you guys got back from Hawaii, Coach Jones and Coach Morrison talked about how the biggest advantage might have been the extra practices, and said specifically you individually and the offense benefited from those extra practices. Beyond just the extra days of reps, what did you get out of those extra practices before the Hawaii Bowl last year, and how much are you getting this year? Uh, well, besides the extra practice, I mean, it really benefited me just being around those guys like Emmanuel and Sean Bray who, who had the talent to play at the next level and uh, just learning from them. Uh, I mean, if I wasn't going to do it right, they were, uh, they were showing me what to do. And uh, Emmanuel, he wasn't afraid to talk to me about what read I should be making and uh, trying to get him the ball. But, uh, I mean, just building that relationship with uh, all, the entire offense. We only lost a few guys, uh, two big guys, actually. But um, the guys this year, uh, I think they were all there. And, uh, with Bees, Darius, um, Al especially, and uh, the offensive line, uh, I mean, we're doing a good job this year. We want to do a little bit better, but uh, I mean, it was good last year for us, and uh, the extra 12, 15 prices or so this year is going to benefit us as well. It's obviously a different experience this year. You're playing in your home stadium. Um, you've done it before. You were you were in a bowl game last year, and you're also playing against one of the service academies. How is the feel different in preparation on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, well, being at home, it's a little bit different. Uh, playing a home game and a bowl game, it's kind of something we weren't really planning on, but. Uh, I mean, it's going to be different than Hawaii. It's going to be pretty cold probably, and, uh, but the experience is going to be great. Uh, we'll probably have more fans this year than what we were able to make it out to Hawaii last year. And uh, Looking forward to getting the entire stadium filled up and uh, playing a service academy. That's, that's a lot of fun. We played Navy, went up there, and uh, that was a good experience for a lot of guys too, just to see what those guys go through, and then they get the, their benefits playing football. So uh, it's going to be a good experience for us playing them, and they're going to play hard. You watch the Army-Navy game. You've seen some of their, their games on film. Uh, give me a little thumbnail sketch of their defense. What impresses you about their defense? Uh, well, they're front. They're not the biggest guys. They got some speed, and they're going to play hard for the entire 60 minutes. Um, they're not going to quit. Uh, they're just like every other service academy. They're going to play hard the entire game, and uh, they're going to try and force me to try and get the ball out quick, and they're going to try and stop the run. So uh, we're, we have our hands full, and uh, it's going to be a good game. You mentioned their defensive front. Um, across their defensive line, they average less than 250 pounds per man. What is it they do well? Why can't every team with their 300-pound offensive linemen just line up and, and run it down their throats? What makes that group effective? Um, I mean, they're, they're very well coached, uh, first off. And then, uh, I mean, they want to be the best. Uh, they play hard. Like I said, they play hard every single play. And, uh, I mean, they're not going to stop. Uh, they do a bunch of stunts as well, uh, trying to confuse the offensive line and fill gaps. And uh, off the line, uh, they got a good game plan going in, and uh, they just got to stay on top of things. And what are your early impressions of their secondary and their and their pass defense down the field? Well, they try and play man. Uh, they're going to try and man us up a little bit, and um, I'm not sure uh, if they're going to change anything. We don't expect them to change anything. They're going to come out in the man, uh, try and they do the desert swarm stuff, and uh, try and get me to get the ball out quick and make some mistakes. But um, they play man in the back end, and uh, it should be fun for us.